Hey everybody, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Uh, I know a lot of times I show big collections that I'm getting, but a lot of times things come into the shop uh, just a little handful at a time, and you never see that stuff. And so I've gotten some really interesting stuff come in over the past week that I'm going to be dropping on Saturday along with everything else I've gotten. Saturday's going to be insane if you're in the area. I've got some crazy heat dropping on Saturday. I got the Prague collection going, and I got all this stuff going out. Um, it's going to be good. But anyways, uh, yeah, on Sunday, I was sitting here with Tunes from the Man Cave, and this guy, if you watch our last video, uh, where me and Chris are sitting and talking on the couch, so the phone rings, and we don't get it, whatever. Uh, so I called the guy back, and he said, I'm in the area. I got a record collection. I'd like to bring it by. It belonged to me, my dad, and my brothers. And it's just all of our records, and it's, like, really super diverse. And I said awesome bring them so he brought them by and uh i hung out for a bit to check those out and there's a bunch of like punk and blues in there and a little bit of hip-hop so i was like sweet so i'm not showing you everything i put some stuff uh there's a lot of dollar bin stuff too so just that's the way it is sometimes but i'm going to show you some of the meat that was in there uh the exploited horror epic uh, horror epics you know the uh, with punk stuff this isn't you know all this stuff's original press and like decently clean uh, with punk stuff, I don't know a ton about punk. I've never listened to punk very much, uh, but as time goes on, I'm learning it. Um, this is Black Flag, um, previously unreleased recordings, 1978 to 1981. So uh, I was wondering, like, why is this uh, the Black Flag censored right there? Well, the reason for that is um, is that there was a dispute. Uh, between Unicorn Records and SST over the name Black Flag or the symbol or something, and they had to censor that out. That was part of the deal. So, anyways, but I got that Black Flag, um, you know, DOA. Uh, this is another Black Flag, Loose Nut. It's all original press stuff, like I said. Um, this album, Fear the Record, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not huge into punk, but this album is really cool. Uh, the guitar tone is just different. It's different from most punk I've heard. And this has got more of a hard rock feel to it um, than most punk. So I really like this album. And, um, you know, I hesitate to show it because I really want to keep it. But I'm going to put it out. I'm a man of my word. Uh, the Repo Man soundtrack, which is Iggy Pop, Black Flag, Suicidal Tendencies, Circle Jerks, Plugs, Burning Sensations, Fear. Uh, yeah, so obviously a great comp and people love that soundtrack. Uh, Dead Kennedy, Skateboard Party. Uh, this is just like a 12 inch live satellite county. I've never seen that one before. Uh, I think it's actually a bootleg. Uh, this one is Broken Bones, I Owe You Nothing. This is a really flimsy cover. This is an original press, 1984. Um, super rare. This one is a really, really rare uh, punk 12 inch. Um, and I, and I think it's, um, I think it's actually an EP. There's uh, five songs on it. So pretty cool but um i got excited when i saw this because i was like man i don't know what this is but it looks like it's pretty pretty rare and it is i mean it's not like a million dollars or anything but it's still kind of rare uh minute men classic sst punk stuff uh, angry samoans original press Let's see what this is oh yeah ramones uh yeah the, I, I was hoping there'd be more ramones in there but that's all I got. And then, the, like, there's a little bit of hip-hop. This is the coolest one. This is Big Daddy Kane. Uh, pretty sweet. I mean, just look at him. He's just honey badger. He don't care. Um, and then he also had some blue stuff. So, uh, Go, Bo Diddley. Um, he had this. Uh, East West, Butterfield Blues Gang. This is a, or Butterfield Blues Band. This is a killer record. Um, really, really dynamite stuff. I love this album so much. Uh, usually they're 20, 25 bucks, and they this is a good bang for your buck. A uh, great blues rock album. Um, I'm trying to sort this. Ooh, don't fall over now. I got like six different stacks over here um, of stuff. I'm trying to show you kind of an order of what came in. All right, so what's kind of surprised me though was he had uh, some some Bluesville stuff. You guys know I, I collect the heck out of some Bluesville. It's one of my favorite favorite labels to collect, and I actually already had one of these. And I actually have one on the Holy Moly wall right now, so I have three of these right now. So this is, you know, Brownie McGee, Sonny Terry, amazing blues combo. I mean, just the best duo to ever do it. Um, just they're they're so in sync. Their records are great that they do together. This is a phenomenal record. 
Uh, this is one I highly suggest picking up. Uh, this one is super rare. I actually already have one, but in my collection, but I'm, I'm crazy about Bluesville, so I've never seen another one of these other than the one I have. Um, this is Tired of Wandering, Arby Stidham. This is unbelievable blues. I'm telling you, I love this record, and it's on Bluesville. This one is a, this one is tough to find, and I, so this is going on the wall. Um, this one, okay, so that was, that was the majority of the stuff that I got from that guy, um, and I found some different things from some other people. Oh, no, no, no. Here's, here's some more stuff I got from him. Uh, Letterman. This is like autograph, which Letterman, I know it's not really expensive stuff, but these are autographs, so I thought it was worth showing. And then he had some like Bob Marley stuff. Um, he actually had some Steve Ray Vaughan stuff too. But this guy that helped me open the shop has been looking for Steve Ray Vaughan for a long time, so I'm going to give him first dibs at it. So I don't want to advertise that it's going to be there because it may not be, but that's the beginning of the collection. So, um, so then after that, uh, another guy came in the shop. He's a good friend of mine. He he de deals on the side too. It's really sometimes difficult to make a deal with somebody who is a dealer because you both feel like you need to make money and it's just tough. But we do it. So this this guy came in. He's like, I'm trying to clear some stuff out. And he brought me a bunch of really good stuff. So I kind of picked through it and picked what I wanted. Um, this one is probably one of the better ones in there. Uh, this is the Affinity uh, promo copy, white label promo. So this is actually already up on the wall. Um, so if you're nearby and you want to grab it, Affinity. This is an amazing psych record. Um, just absolutely hard-hitting killer. One of my favorites. I have the Vertigo Press, but this is a, a killer U.S. press. Um, Love Forever Changes. This is a gold label. I showed this in my last video, so I probably shouldn't talk about that too much. Um, and then... This one here, I have got this one on the wall already. This one came in. This is a Lightning Hopkins um, Blues Terry Last Night Blues, or Sunny Terry Last Night Blues. Um, this is one of my favorite blues records of all time. and it, it may be my favorite. My favorite is the first blues album I ever heard, but that's sentimental. Like, if I'm talking about, like, best blues album, this is, this one's just, it's right in the sweet spot. He's got this reverb on his vocals that is just, amazing I mean, it's killer amazing blues this is maybe my favorite blues album um so this is up on the holy wall holy moly wall right now um so that came in someone traded this mgmt no big deal but it's a great album some more stuff that guy brought in uh this is a really cool uh i don't always show the labels uh but this one's really sweet this is a uk press of it's dr john babylon um, I got a copy of this in the last collection that I decided to keep um, because this is an album I really don't ever see. And then, lo and behold, a few days later, this one comes in. So that's a killer one. That'll be going out on Saturday. This one, Harvey Mandel, uh, Cristo Redent Redentor, is that? Um, yeah. This is an amazing guitar album. This was not. This was not too expensive, so if you're not able to come to the shop this Saturday. This is a huge recommendation for me. These are usually about 10 or 15 bucks. Um, really great um, blues, rock infused type of guitar stuff. But Harvey Mandel is a phenomenal underrated guitar player. Uh, one of my favorite guitar players and his albums usually aren't too expensive. Some of them are um, on the more expensive side, but that one is probably my favorite and it's not that expensive. Uh, it's another psych album, Womb. Uh, this is a killer psych album. Great stuff. Uh, I like to buy things that I know that the people come in will like. Since I was kind of picking through his stuff, I was like, man, somebody's going to love that. Uh, Methuselah, another really good on Electra uh, psych album. I have this in my collection. It's just, it's a really, really great, great album. Um, Touch. This one's, you know, got the legendary uh, cover. Kind of weird on the back. But this is a psych album with a touch of Prague. Uh, really good album. Love it. It's in my collection. Uh, Electric Mud. Oh, my gosh. So good. Uh, yes Shows. World Tour 1977. The Yes Bootleg. Um, and then uh, Tim, Blake, Tim Blake's New Jerusalem. Um, so you can see the back cover is like real trippy. I have one of these in my collection. It's really good. Proggy type album pretty good stuff so um anyways will you guys take care see you next time